Hey guys, Corey here with Coat of Arms TV and today we are testing an Aerotech Research Level 4 ceramic plate. Thank you Simon for sending this out to us from S&J Hardware. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with what a Level 4 rated plate is going to take, roughly it's going to take up to a 30 odd 6. We're not going to be testing it to that level right now. We've only got some standard cartridges with us today. So we've got 9mm, 22, uh, 30, 30, 308, 556, and then after we've tested all of those on the plate, so it's gonna be taking multiple hits, we're then gonna see how well it fared at that point, and we're gonna step it up to a 12 gauge slug. In order to be able to test multiple calibers on this ballistics plate, we had to bring a, a bunch of different guns. So I guess I'll just give you guys a rundown of what we got to shoot today. We've got the uh, IWI Tavor, um, then we've got the Marlin 3030, we got the GSG 16, um, the SKS, then we've got the PC9, the Ruger PC9. Then we got the Neostead NS2000. And this is a Remington 700 308 in a Accuracy International stock. So the great thing about the uh, Aerotex is they have a reduced BFS. And BFS is standing for back face signature. And the idea of that is anything that shoots the plate goes in and then causes a bulge in the back. You want that to be minimal and we're gonna be testing this particular one today and uh, we'll see how well these plates particularly um, absorb the bullets and um, disallow any penetration and or back facing signature. And the other way to do that is to start shooting. It sound right, boy. All right, we're gonna start off with a 22 long rifle. I've got one round in here, so I gotta make sure I don't miss. All right, so we've got, there's the impact right there. So you can see, I don't know, can you see that on camera there, Mike? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing. 22, A-okay. Okay, we've got the Ruger PC9. We're gonna be going with a nine millimeter. And uh, again, seeing if this is gonna be stopping you can see here and I can feel the delamination of the ceramic plate but then and again no back facing signature like they were referring to there's nothing there anything that spattered was all maintained inside of the plate itself like it was supposed to and what you don't want to have happen is the bullet take the impact and then come up into your neck, right? That's gonna be a problem. Uh, or into the guy next to you. So far with the nine millimeter, all of the jacket, the projectile was completely encased inside of this particular plate. All right, we're gonna move forward with a 5.56 five, um, in the Bullpup Tavor. And this particular one, we're gonna try to make sure I don't place the shot right on top of where the nine millimeter is, cause that wouldn't really be a fair test to the plate if I'm going hole on hole. So I'll do my best to keep it this one a little bit lower. Okay, well that looks like it went low. So man, you can see a big difference between the nine millimeter and like look inside here, like look at that. Look at that wound channel in there and that's just in ceramic, that's substantial, but that's not what we want to know. I don't see anything coming out of here. Um, I can feel a lot of crunchiness up in here, but moment of truth is when we flip this over, no penetration at all. If you look at it from the side here, you can see it swells. Had I not shot that 22 first here, um, maybe it would have sw swelled a little less but you're gonna walk away from this. So nine millimeter, five, five, six, two substantial hits, 
at about, uh, I don't know, 15 yards max, and a 22, which is kind of a more of a minor hit. Plate still holding together, no penetration. I say we step up to 30-30. Ooh. Very similar to the 9mm, it penetrated in with the higher velocity. Flip it over and what do we see? Nothing in the way of penetration anywhere. That 3030 is really, really giving you uh, some back facing signature now. It being the fourth round hitting the plate. Still holding up. Now we're going to go move to the SKS which is a 762 by 39 Many of you know that round most popular for the AK-47. I don't know, what do you think? Is that, there's, that's a penetration right there. Like it's. I would think so. So this is where the 30-30 hit. Yeah, that's where stuff came out. More back facing signature than before. But again, man, I am blown away. This thing is holding together. How is this holding together? Uh, we're stepping up to the 308 now. So it's a 762 by 51. Remington 700 accurized in an Accuracy International stock with a Vortex Viper scope at about 15 yards. Here we go. So this is starting to feel like a bag full of sand. <laughs> the problem is, is I don't know where the impact was. Was it this? Why don't you shoot it again here and see what happens. I'll shoot it, try to go a little higher. And see what happens. And we'll see what happens just to confirm. But right now there's nothing out the back. So this is the second shot with the 308 because we don't know where that one went. Um, we think we know where it went, but we don't know for sure. So we're going to confirm it right now. I'm aiming for top right shoulder from my perspective. Okay. Right here, which is what I think was Probably this guy good. here. We definitely impacted and how I know that for sure. It looks like we have a through and through, right? Yeah. In one, out the other. But I can't even confirm that for sure. Something came out the back here. I don't know what because we have that material. Maybe I'm going to do another 308 in this bottom corner and see if it holds up. And just that'll give us a better idea. And what I will do is I'll, I'll put another one of these uh, shooting seas right behind this bottom corner where I'm going to shoot. So we can definitely identify if something comes through, what it was and how substantial it was that came through. We'll see what happens. Okay, so bottom right hand corner, the third 308, I can't believe I'm even saying that, even though we did have puncture in that top right corner, we will see. Can never catch that damn thing. Okay, so we're very happy to have with us today our dear friend Patriot Frank. As he's affectionately known as, eh, Frank? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on here, Frank? Yeah, she's showing lots of wear now. So, judging by the impact, I'm guessing there's the hole. Yeah, that's a hole, for sure. And then let's see what we've got in the back. What did it do to the target? Yeah, Holy! A, a lot of hits for that one plate. Like, we were, in fairness, we were expecting to see something like this, right? In the target. And at this point, I don't even think you need to worry about the projectile coming yeah. through. You're having your whole body pushed in here. Why don't we just take that Neostead and, and punch a slug through it and see. We'll call this one a uh, confirmed. Yeah. It could handle a bad day in someone's day. life. <laughs> I've got a slug in there right now, okay? And say good night to the plate, likely. We'll see. Here we go. You gotta laugh. <laughs> I, we, you gotta laugh. We <laughs> hit it. You hit it. It, hit, it got hit. It got My gosh. Blew it all apart. There used to be a plate here. Let's take a look at this. I'll come back here, Mike. Watch your step. 
like here, like back in there. Nothing's gone through. Now this is where the slug hit and it just, pushed it did this, right? So in fairness, after review, and we'll check the slow-mo replay, but that slug still did not even penetrate this. What it did was this. It just punched its way with the whole plate and everything right through the plywood. Very, very confident in the Air Attack Research Plate Level 4 Ceramic. We're about to test the soft armor or the super thin stuff. Um, I don't know much about that particular plate, but we're about to find out and uh, put some rounds on it and see what it can do. I'm guessing we'll start with a 9mm and we'll see how many 9mm this thing can take. All right, she jumped. <laughs> Um, but it didn't go through One more round we're gonna put on it guns uh, hot it is off safe I'm gonna aim a little bit lower this time And she jumped again Which looks like penetration, but it's just a sticker break so you can see where it impacted Didn't go through but it's that's a heck of a punch punch to the abdomen Patriot Frank makes a really good point. That is with a rifle, uh, meaning that it's moving at a higher velocity than it would be out of a pistol at this uh, distance. So in fairness, um, this is probably a little bit more than you would expect out of a, a pistol. All right, this is the third nine millimeter through a pistol caliber carbine, a rifle length barrel that we are putting into the plate. Okay. Guns on safe. Impacted right here. It likely, judging by where this went, it got caught up right in here. Still doing its job, still cre uh, stopping any penetration. Oh, well, we'll see. Part of the jacket came out, but the, it's still holding together, not punching a full projectile through it. And she's down. Yeah, we're through. Came through? We're through. So finally, Frank was able to, with his impeccable skill and using Came the force. Through. Same hole again. <laughs> right right here? Yeah. And finally, we got it through with what is this, the sixth shot, maybe? I mean, I, I'll be honest, I can't be more impressed with what they've done. I didn't really know what to expect out of, outside of what the NIJ rating is at a level four, what the expectation would be uh, utilizing different projectiles and calibers into it. This thing took, I think, five nine millimeter shots before it started actually puncturing. And the level four ceramic plate, that thing took a multitude of hits. And I wasn't expecting them to even hold up as long as it did. If you're looking for these and you're in the domestic area of Canada, you can get them in the link below. You can also reach out to Simon from s j Hardware at that same link below. He can get you internationally, ship them out um, worldwide. Whatever you need, he can take care of your needs, um, whether you're law enforcement, military, or civilian, um, that you can legally obtain these um, in your province. Make sure you check. I believe you only need a firearms license in most provinces to be able to get that. If that is not legal advice, be sure to check in your area. Um, to ensure you're capable of having these. Super impressed with the Aerotech research, both the soft armor and the level four. He's got some AR-500 coming out, um, not yet NIJ rated, but it will be. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on those plates. Until next time, this is Coat of Arms. It sound right, boy. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and as always, leave us a comment. We wanna hear what you have to say. If you want to support us, you can go to CodeofArmsTV.com for all of our latest apparel. This is Code of Arms.